gonna take a dip into this it's actually so crunchy on the outside mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. it's amazing it's a snack that you will love hello there my name is caroline if you're new here welcome to my channel so imagine this you are suddenly attacked by hunger you go to the refrigerator it's so empty you go to to your kitchen cabinet it's so empty and that's where you need my help i have this simple easy recipes that you can make in less than 30 minutes with not so complicated ingredients and that's why you need to subscribe to this channel give me that like share my episode yes 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 let's get started So whether you're short on time or too hungry to wait, these simple recipes will come in handy all the time. So I hope you enjoy this episode. It will be a series of simple bites to make in the kitchen and they are so, so delicious. You know one thing, let's get to my kitchen, we get cooking. So welcome to my kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. on today's episode, we're gonna make some deep fried broccoli. I know you, you love uh, maybe a bit of broccoli when it is steamed, you put some bell peppers, yellow, but deep fried broccoli is the best, even for an appetizer, and that's why I come in and get these bites for you. Yes, let me show you the ingredients first. It's so easy to pick up your broccoli, so you can get one large broccoli and then some flour, some eggs, some black pepper, some, some salt and some a bit of sugar if you have. I will show you how it come in handy. So yeah, it's a very simple meal. 10 minutes, we are done. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our broccoli. Uh, it's a very simple process and you make sure it's frozen. So you just go around. this just go around you can remove the leaves first Then you just cut the broccoli reflets. Just go around like this. It's that easy. Now there are people who say, oh, I don't know how to cut broccoli. There you go. Very easy process. Then you can tangle them easily. Just tangle them like that so that they are smaller. There you go. There you go. So next, uh, we're going to add our flour. Just a bit. You can put just maybe one and a half cups. gonna mix together with egg so we're gonna whisk this together I'm gonna put a bit of black pepper some uh, sugar and then some salt I'm 
gonna whisk this together. And then you gradually put some water. So you gradually put some water until it's mixed. it's not like too thick Make sure it's it's broccoli is covered. ready to know how to make the best appetizer yes 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 so anyway uh, we've mixed our broccoli so I want us to season our flour we're gonna do that with a bit of salt and uh, some black pepper so we're going to mix that just to season the flour so what you're going to do is uh, dip our broccoli or toss it in the flour a bit toss it in flour After tossing our broccoli in the seasoned flour, we are going to drop them in hot oil and uh, deep fry until golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Until they're 
con del ron. These broccoli fritters are the best. Look at that. When you have that hunger, you can just let them cook. If you want it to be a bit brown, you can leave it to be brown. But I like it when they are like this. Just so crispy. So yummy. So we're going to drain this in a paper towel. Look at that. Simply amazing. Let the water the, the I'll drain. I'm gonna put this in paper towels so that they can drain further. It's very easy and very cheap bite for you. And so crunchy. cook for like three three to five minutes until they are golden brown so you if you're looking of a way to jazz up your vegetables especially for your kids to eat this is a very easy super tasty way to make them eat their vegetables so let them let us turn them so if they are brown on one side now we turn them on the other side they're so crunchy they will love this look at that So you let them also become brown on this other side. You can you can see it's so golden brown. So you just put this in a paper towel. amazing amazing starter or a side dish and you have a whole set of snack for your day look at this and if you have people coming in you have a lot to serve and uh, you can have some barbecue sauce to dip on the side and a drink can we have a taste mm. so yummy gonna take a dip into this it's actually so crunchy on the outside 
Mm. It's amazing. It's a snack that you will love. Mm. Mm -mm. I love it. I love it. I love the crunchiness. I love it the way it's so crunchy on the outside and then very, very tender on the inside. It's so, so sweet. Your kids will love, love, love it. So I hope you've enjoyed my episode follow my recipe step by step and let me know how it turned out comment down below give me a like share this video yes 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 thank you so much for tuning in and that's it from me bye